All right, so in this video, we want to create a navigation and that would be our default layout for every component. So let's go to our project and create a layout directory in our JS folder. So outside the pages folder, I'm going to create a layouts folder. And within that, I'm gonna create a layout JSX. And the reason I'm creating these layouts outside of the pages folder, because this is not something that I want to create a route for it. This is just my layout and it would be called through other pages. For example, this home page. That's why we don't need to place it inside the pages folder. Anyway, in this layout file, we want to create our navigation. So again, we want to create our function and at the same time export it. So let's say export default function and call it layout. And I just want to return some markup. So I will have an empty tag here. Within that, I will have my header and then a nav. Within the nav, we will have an anchor tag for home page that says home and another link for create. We don't have this page at the moment, but we will create it later on. And I just want to have multiple links here. And then I will have a main tag. And within this main tag, I want to have the placeholder for all the components. So we already know how to do this using React. We can use the special prop that is called children. So we want to accept it up here in our layout function and then pass it down here within the main tags. Now I already have a styles applied to these so i don't have to add anything i just want to add a class for my anchor tags and that is navlink and now we want to use this for our components now there are two ways to approach this let's go back to inertia documentation then under pages if we scroll down here we have creating layouts so the first part is just an example which we already did and i will talk about this link in a moment but then down here tells us how we can use it. So basically in our component, we want to set the layout to whatever layout we just created. So let's go back to our project and open our home page. So this is the first way. So first, instead of exporting our home function right away, I want to delete that export statement, then grab that home layout that would have a layout property on it. And I want to set the value of that layout to a function. So we want to accept the page, which would represent the same page, home page, and then basically render our layout. So I want to import our layout and then self-close this tag. Now, remember we said our layout is looking for a children prop, so I can pass it down here and then use this page property inside this curly brackets. Basically, we are just telling that our home page should have this layout. So then afterwards, we just want to export that home. So if you go back to our website, we have our navigation up here. And again, I have styles applied already. So this is the first way and we can repeat this for as many pages as we want. For example, some pages would have a different layout. So we could just say, for example, guest layout or authenticated layout, and the syntax would be exactly the same. It is just a markup that would be different. Now, in our case, this navigation is the default layout, which needs to be shared among all the other pages. So instead of doing this and adding it to every page, we can set a default layout for our whole application. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just return this to the way it was. So just like this. So now we are back to the simple homepage without the navigation. Then I'm going to open our app.jsx and in here I want to set the page layout before returning the pages. So instead of returning the pages right away, I want to save it inside a variable first and then use that same page to set the default layout. So I can say page default layout and set it to itself if it exists or to the layout that I specify. So this side of this or statement is going to be similar to what we did on the home component. We want to pass a function here and accept a page parameter and then use our layout. So we need to import it. And then down here, we want to say that the children prop of this layout is gonna be this page. So I can just pass it within these curly brackets. And then at the end, we want to return that page we just created. So to recap, we just say if the page has a default layout, then use that one. If it doesn't, use our layout we just created. That means if I add a layout to my homepage, then this statement would be ignored and we would not see our default layout. We would see whatever layout we want to have for our homepage. So now if we go back to our website, now we have our homepage. And if we add other pages, we would still use this same layout so we don't have to repeat ourselves. And up here, we are importing the layout. I just want to change this dot to an at sign, which is the alias we created in the first video for our JS folder. 
All right, so now we have our layout and we have two links, our home page and our create page, which doesn't work because we don't have a page for it. But you notice here, every time I click on this home page, we are performing a full refresh. So a traditional server call. And if we inspect the site and go to the network tab, you notice I made a call to the server. If I press again, it's the same thing. It's happening over and over again. That's because we are still using an anchor tag in our layout file. So to solve this problem, we can use a special component from inertia, and that is link. So instead of these A tags, I can say link that needs to be imported from inertia.js and then replace all these A tags with a link. So again, we don't have this create page, but I'm just going to create a link for it anyway. So with that simple change, inertia would intercept that call and we will not make a server call. So if I press on the home page now, you notice we are making an XHR request. And if we click on the name, you can see the response that is a JSON response and it has our component name, the props and so on. And we saw these links in the documentation for a moment that they used in their layout example. So now if I press on the create page, which it doesn't exist, we get this 404 in a model instead of going to another page. So we have the SPA features of React. At the same time, our routes are sitting in our web.php, which is part of PHP and Laravel. And that's it for this video and creating a layout.